Welcome, welcome to episode 6, where we are going to move the snake. My name's Blade, and I hope so far it's been a good journey that you've uh, spent to doing this. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got. What we've got is a set of game rules, dice, a game world complete now with goal, map and player. All of those are what I call containers. These just contain all the information for the graphics, and that is used in graphics to give us the scene. What we need to look at next, I think, will be how to move. Yeah, that'll do. How do we move? Uh, we need to move the snake, and we're going to do that using um, a new source directory. Uh, we can add a new folder, make sure the correct thing is switched on here so that you're in, you can do that. Make sure that's on, show all files, uh, otherwise you will just be getting filters, not folders. Hmm, Microsoft, you're so silly. So, let's start here. We're going to call this folder Physics. Uh, because that's what it does, it, it does the physics of the game, the movement. It's very simple physics, but hey -o. I call That's how I spell physics. Don't know about you, but that's how I spell it. P-H-Y-S-X. Um, I'm going to add a new item. It's going to be a header file, and it's not going to be that header file. Thank you. It's just getting its own back because I called it silly. Add a new item. H. Yeah. Physics. Yeah. And it's going to be move. Uh, I'll call it snake. Just to differentiate it against the player, for instance, because the player is a storage class. This is a movement class. And oh, just to make it be awkward. You could call it move player if you want. I don't mind. I'll have a new item, a CPP file, and we'll call that move snake dot CPP. Yeah, looking good. I like that. Just a bit different for once for me. There we go. Standard setup. Save. Move snake, pragma once, let's see what we need. Not a lot. Not a lot, to be honest with you. Movement moving the snake is what maths. So Ash include Oh, that didn't work. Okay. It didn't want to work because I didn't click there. Okay, hash. Include uh, little, 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 maths. That's what I was doing <laughs> before it totally threw me off. Um, that's maths.h, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do me. Um, we'll need to include uh, the display because we need to move things in the display. Display, window 3D, yeah, that'll do nicely. Last thing we're going to need is the player, because that's who we're moving. And that will be dot dot flash, uh, game world, uh, player. Thank you. Not bad so far. And we'll have a class. And we'll call it move. Snake. Why not? And if I spell that right, it'll be a class. Way, Get out of it. Come on, Blades, let's get it right. I'll have a static constant as well on this one. Um, static const. And I put it with a capital S because I do for some reason. I'm just going to call it max underscore segments. And 100. 
there we go that's going to be our constant because that tells me that we've thought about it and that we have a maximum number of segments for the player of 100 which is in fact correct um, to match with the player I'm also going to have a VEC3 and this time I'm going to use this uh, because it might matter and that's just max underscore segments so it's an array holding uh, positions uh, of segments I'm going to use it for simplicity um, so I don't have to keep referencing the player for every single segment that is one thing it also allows me to um, do other things that are useful shall we say yeah okay Amber call on, call on the display we've asked for and we've asked for window 3D haven't we so we better give it one um, and then underscore window nothing going new going on here uh, player that I have here as star m underscore we're going to call him snake for this one just so it differentiates gets gets my mindset away from the player that we wrote um, just keep my mindset away from it so I don't start making silly mistakes and assuming things happen Amber so Amber whoa no 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 can we have just have Amber please thank you go on go on my gosh Vec3 um I will need a move direction or a movement direction so move and just call it direction do need to know that it will help <laughs> if I know which direction we're moving in it sounds silly but hey ho let's have an int for uh, current it's really number of segments but I'm just going to call it current segments plural segment plural current segment yeah that'll do nicely get that thing out of the way um bool i'll set these up explain them later i think that's going to be the easiest way of doing this and it's going to be in hib it right Woo! caps lock went somewhere silly There we go. Inhibit right, and I want m underscore inhib it left. Sounds silly, doesn't it? It's I'm making this up. No, that is definitely not made up. We need those totally. So let's see what we need in floats. F L O A T, please. Uh, I'll have a countdown. Um, we'll play countdown um, we'll have a speed um, yeah speed and we'll have a rotation current rotation there we go I think there's a few duplicates in there so We'll see as we go through what's needed, what isn't. Um, if I decide to call anything out as not not needed, we'll, we'll just remove it. Can't see why not. I do think there's too many variables there. Mm. As you're about to see. Public. We'll have a straightforward move, a snake. And that's open brackets. And what do we need? The display, yes. I want 
the window and we want and window. It's a normal kind of thing. I'll also need the player, won't I? Yeah, might help. Uh, players a pointer. Or held as a pointer. I can't spell today for some reason. S N A K E. Snake, player snake. Ooh, snake. Right, we will have a, a destructor. We'll move a snake. Good. All right, we're working now, are we? Uh, let's see what we're going to need. Update, move snake, yes. Update, move snake. We'll have one of them. An update is good. I've got something wrong here, and I know I have, and I can't see it. Oh, well, we'll just carry on for a second. What's wrong with those lines? Invalid destruction declaration. You're right. That's valid. Thank you. Well, at least it knew. I didn't. I'll have a bull. Um, call. Collision. Collision. I think we better put something in there. Uh, how's about a position? Uh, vec 3. Uh, yeah, we'll just have a pause for position. Um, yeah, void, grow, snake. Might need that as well. Anything else I can think of? Uh, yeah, something I don't want people tampering with, private. And that will be void final uh, movement. That I don't want anybody else to touch. So I'll pop it there. That should be good. That should be good. And we've got it. I think we've got enough. We've got enough there to go with. So, not a lot. Nearly fits on one screen, that. Wow. Yeah. Moose snake. We've got all of these. <laughs> oh, I have really gone over to over the top on uh, colon. Let's come back. Well, I've gone over the top on these, haven't I? Mm, yeah. What we're going to need... We're going to need lots now. We are going to need the full constructor. And that is... Starting with... Window. Don't... Well, that top one... Is already... Cons well, it hasn't been equal to anything. Oh, we'll sort that out in the, in the main thingies. Uh, yeah, so we can start with window, can't we? So, M underscore window is window. Nice, easy one to start with. Comma. Um, snake is the next one. I hope, yep, yeah, snake. S-N-A-K-E. Open is snake. Close and comma. Those both pointers, so that's fine. Uh, and what have we got next? M move direction. M. Well, I know what that is because we know where it starts. We know which it, it faces south to start off with. We can do that just by running the program and looking at the screen. <laughs> so I know it's facing south. And that will be a plus one in the Z direction. Yeah, it will, won't it? Yes, of course it will, Blades. Number Vec3. And that will be a non there. That's X, Y. And when I said one in the Z direction is south, which it is. Minus one in the Z direction is north. 
because that goes if uh, doesn't matter that goes back to what I was talking about with the cameras and everything always looking north when they come in I call it north south east and west um, I just find it easy to relate to it as compass points rather than plus one minus one all the rest of it right so M what's next on the list here current segments current Segments is next on the list. What will that be? Uh, well, there aren't any. So, zero. There's only the head. And that is zero, is the head. There you go. Um, next is M inhibit. Uh, left or right first? Right. I'm just doing them in order, that's all. I'll put semicolon. Thank you. Uh, that's going to be false. We don't want to inhibit anything. M underscore inhibit left. Make sure I spell those right, right and left. Yep, false. I tend to spell things wrong. Uh, after that comes countdown. M underscore count down is going to be 15. 15.0 F is a float, is it? Yeah. Good. Next is move speed, which should start at the same movement speed as the countdown because they're tied together. So I'll put 15.0F. I tried it at 20, and it started off too slowly. Dropped it to 15, started OK. And current rotation is the last thing. And the current rotation is 0. There isn't one. There we go. And I said I would do M segments, didn't I? So that's the last thing. It's a good list, isn't it? So M underscore segments. Why is it not coming up? Thank you. And that is going to be square bracket. It's actually M underscore current segments equals m underscore snake get position that one there we are <laughs> starting values all set save that out close that down uh, if you want to see it in full, that's what it looks like. Yeah, didn't we do a good job on that? Um, did I say I think there might be too many? Um... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's go back to this. What do we need next? Do we create anything? No, really. That's given to us. That's given to us. Okay. We haven't actually created anything in here. They're all just variables, so I can't see any deletions there. Got no stars, as it were, except for that one which isn't ours to delete. We'll get on now with Moose Snake, shall we? And I think I'll have that just as empty for now. Uh, yeah, I'll do it in a minute. Save that. Collision check. That's all right, save that. Grow snake. Empty. I'm not doing it yet. Save that. 
final movement. Empty. Save that. Okay, that's filled everything up. Everything's filled up here. That's all there is to it, I think. Can't think of anything else to it at all. So, uh, let's start with a move snake here. A bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with the base of this one. Move snake, update move snake. Hmm. All right. Okay, so if um, we have open brackets, M underscore window, we need to know if a key's been pressed. So is key pressed? Um, I'm going to use GLFW underscore key. Use the arrow keys. Uh, so that's left. The arrow keys. There it is. And I'm not going to do that. Okay. Because so I want to show you something. I want to show you something bad first before I show you something good. <coughs> M, current rotation. Current rotation equals M underscore snake. And we're only bothered about the y, y rotation. So I think we've already sorted that out in, yeah, we've only put it in, there's that. That's okay then. So we can get the Y rotation quite easily by just using the get to player rotation because we haven't separated them out or anything silly like that. Now if the left key is held down, we want to add 90 degrees. So M underscore current rotation is plus, whoops, plus equals 90 degrees. Uh, semicolon. Now we just need to do a quick check. Current rotation. If it goes greater than or equal to 360, then what we need to do is just reset it back to zero, otherwise it's going to go on and on forever and make a big number. Current rotation is equal to zero. There we go. That's really all we need to do. Um, of course, we then need to M underscore snake. We need to set. Ooh, that's no good. I want an arrow. Set the player rotation with a value. Angle in degrees is M underscore current rotation. Simple as that is all we need to do. That will rotate the player. Won't it? Yeah, okay. Copy it. May as well paste it uh, change that to the right arrow key and this time it's negative and it is less than or equal to minus 360 degrees and reset it to zero I think that'll do it, really. Is that okay for turning it, do you think? And all we need to do at the very, very end of all of this is just the final movement, which we haven't done yet. Uh, final movement, there it is. 
that's it. Now, <clears throat> if we add that in as a movement, will that work? Well, that depends how we put the movement in, doesn't it? Yeah. So I think this is going to be part one, isn't it? Or do you want me to put in the full code? Hmm. Uh, how is movement used? That is the thing here, isn't it? And the sky is. GitHub. I think it's used through the other system because it splits off in the game loop. Big snake. Now, in the big snake. Main source, source, source. Under the game loop, it will use game logic. It splits off between game logic and um, update model, compose frame, start timer. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Exposed, blah, 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 blah. Update the model and compose frame. Oh, it's doing both at the same time, is it? Update the model first. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, the below. Sorry. Mm hmm. Update. Game logic. That's just an if. Nothing passed through. That's interesting. Doesn't make sense. Never mind. Shh. Don't die. Come here, you. So we're using the game logic to go through. And the game logic gives us a dice. That, that collide, checks the collide, move snake is there. Update move snake. So yeah, we are going to need a basic game logic written. Okay, so this is part one of move snake and we're on 27 minutes do i keep it short or do i put this in so i'm going to do part one of game logic next where i've just put a simple version of this in yeah yeah okay and then we'll come back to uh, the movement to test that movement Sounds good. Sounds good to me. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, there we go. Strategy ahead. Uh, what we're going to do is this in two parts. Move snake, because obviously grow snake and final movement haven't been done yet. I don't want to. I just want to be able to turn on the spot, and so we get this all sorted out properly. But that's how you turn on the spot. You register if a key has been pressed, and if the key has been pressed, then you turn your object very very simplistic and very very wrong but i'll explain why so that's move snake part one okay that's fine there we go and that'll be the title of this video so I will catch you in the next episode where I will um, do a very, very simple game logic to access this move snake. I'll plug that back through into our uh, game loop as it should be. This will finish the game loop off, thank God. And uh, what that means that's finished. We'll only have to deal with these two really, moving snake and game logic. That sounds good to me. I think that is getting very close to finish then on part twos. Excellent. I will see you in the next episode. Please, please, please take care. And of course, have fun. <laughs>